smartphone pictures ending up like this, this video may help. What's up guys, this is Review Edge here, keeping you on the edge of technology. And today I am coming at you with a Tuesday tech tip, because it's Tuesday. Um, finally no announcements this time, gonna get right to it. So lately smartphone cameras have been getting better and better, and we really see less and less people hauling around big like 5 pound cameras. So that means we need new techniques of taking pictures. So I'm just going to give you four quick tips that will bring your smartphone pictures to the next level. So um, the first one is smartphones don't actually have like real lenses. So when you zoom, all it's doing is cropping the image and making it more pixelated. So I would recommend rather than using zoom, just completely forget about the zoom and do everything with just cropping so that way you'll be able to get the picture the exact size that you want it because zooming really does nothing um the number two this is more important for i would say ios users like um, iphones because uh, the camera that comes pre-installed on the iphone is not that great the camera app that is i would recommend downloading a new camera app um, there are many good ones out there. Some are free and some cost money. Uh, some of the best free ones are VSCO Cam, which I will show you here. I'll have a link to that in the description. And also Camera Awesome is a good one that's also free. So these will allow you to change things like ISO and stuff that you would be able to do on a DSLR. Um, so number three, uh, because you don't use lens caps for a smartphone and also you're probably keeping it in your pocket or a bag. The lenses tend to get dirty. I would recommend to regularly clean your lens with like a cloth. Um, they make special cloths. I'll have a link to one in the description. And lastly, number four, on Android, um, I wouldn't worry about downloading a new camera app. Because Android actually has a ton of preloaded effects. So if you just click down here, you can scroll through all these different effects. I would experiment around with some of them. Because you really can do a lot right off of your Android phone. So this was a quick one today, but I hope it helped. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. And... I need new Tuesday tech tips so if you're wondering about something you can just ask me in the comments below and also don't forget to check out my new website reviewedge.org. Have a great day guys.